Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to my new video. Now, after I posted my latest photography video the other day, I got a couple of questions asking about my watermark and I've also had a few in the past just on DeviantArt and on YouTube, just asking, you know, is my watermark a font, uh, how I made it and stuff like that. Um, so this is just a quick video on that. So you can see here it is here. Now all I did was did my actual signature, which is the thing in my watermark, and took a photo of it on a page and then brought it into Photoshop. Now from here what we're going to do is actually use the pen tool to trace around this and get it as, you know, a single layer on a brush. Um, so to do this we're going to create a new layer above our background layer, press P to bring up our pen tool. And before we get started, let's just make sure we got a good size brush. So press B, right click. I'm using about uh, 10 pixels and make sure it's on 100% hardness. You don't really want a feathered effect on a watermark. Uh, so that's pretty much good right there. Now press P to bring up your pen tool on a new layer. And we're just going to pretty much trace over it. Now it's just a really quick job. If I was actually recreating mine to use, I'd spend a lot... Uh, longer on it, but yeah, you get the idea. So what we're going to do is pretty much trace over it like so and Right click when we're done there and go stroke path move on to the next part So trace around here really quick job again Stroke path and then a single dot for the eye and now we can remove that and you can see we've got a really dodgy looking signature um, so that's pretty much it and then what I went ahead and did was grab my text tool and uh, just type infused media for the top line and this is actually the same font I used uh, which is century gothic so we're just going to drag this down and make it quite a bit smaller and fit under here like it does in my watermark then what I went ahead and did was um, grabbed our pen tool again and just did a straight line about the same um, about the same distance create a new layer and stroke path and then what I went ahead and did was duplicate my text layer drag that down keeping it the same and then type my name which is James Lazzaroni and then made it a bit smaller so it was centered like the above text um, so that's pretty much it there and then what we can go ahead and do is merge all of these layers so now that we have this created um, I did something which was a helpful little tip to make sure it is the exact position and size on every single picture um, so to do this, what I went ahead and did was, I'll just drag in a picture as an example here. So we'll open up this uh, new photo in Photoshop that I took uh, Friday. Um, and then what we can go ahead and do is hide our background layer, press Control A to select everything, Control C with our whole signature here selected, um, dragged it in and positioned it exactly where we would want it. So let's just say there. Now make sure the picture that you're doing this on is one of your full resolution pictures and not a cropped one. And then what I went ahead and did was hit our background and save that whole thing as a PNG so it had a transparent background. So just um, to illustrate that, you can see if I grab my actual watermark and go ahead and just drag it over our current document, you can see it pastes in right there. Now I'll just duplicate this so you can see it. And there we go, it's perfectly positioned right where I want it. And that's where it'll be on every single photo unless I deliberately change it. Uh, so I hope this helped. I hope it answered all of your questions. Um, thank you very much for watching. You can check out my other tutorials and my actual tutorials um, on the screen now. And some other videos that I'll put links to. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.